what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel michael the thrifting goomba how's everybody doing hope you've had a great day afternoon or night whenever you're watching this video hey got something for you today got a haul video for you so <clears throat> went to goodwill uh last few days one of the days weather wasn't that great here so i figured i'd go to the goodwill Maybe I get lucky with some bad weather. Wouldn't be that busy. Maybe I could find some stuff. I found some things. Not a ton. Um, I don't know, like maybe 18 things. But, you know, two of the things are in the same category. We're more like quantity. So, you know, from that standpoint. So, I know what you're saying. Hey, Goomba, where did you go ahead and find? Well, guess what? I'll show you what I found at the Goodwill, right after this. All right, folks. Thanks for sticking around. Much appreciated. Hey, don't forget, if you can, if you can like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to over 400 subs. And don't forget, if you hit subscribe, hit that little bell, hit the little all. Also, love to do a live show, either as a guest or if somebody wants to start a live show or somebody wants to start a live, you know, like just work hangout show. I'd love to be a part of it, depending on, you know, what night it is. So if you could, uh, if you're interested, let me know. Hook me up. Thriftinggoomba at gmail.com or, or thriftinggoomba on uh, Instagram. Send me a DM. Or leave me a message in the chat. Thanks a lot. So, trying to get back into clothes. <clears throat> and as you can see, I have here a, uh, a pair of jeans. And uh, they are Tommy jeans. Did pay up. I paid $7.99. These are a women's uh, waist is 32. And it's a size 14. And I really bought them for two reasons. One, I saw this pocket. I thought that was pretty nice looking. And then number two, I saw this pocket here. So I really couldn't find a comp in the store just because the uh, the internet, or I should say connectivity, wasn't that great. The cell service wasn't that great. Uh, but I figured, you know, all right, $8, I'll ship them in, a, uh, in, in an envelope. Uh, you know, but I'm not really concerned about that. I do charge shipping on my listings. Uh, it's something that I've gone ahead and started doing, uh, changing a lot of them over, uh, you know, if and, and I just, I don't know, I just, I feel more comfortable doing that. So, you know, we figure, you know, it should be okay from that standpoint. So uh, if I could find a comp, comp will be right over here. All right. So next thing I found, again, like I said, trying to get back into more clothes. Uh, I enjoy doing clothes. I have to get a better photo booth. I'm in my garage. You can't see it, but I'm trying to figure out over there, get a photo booth that I could, you know, work pretty good. So I saw these boots. And uh, my first thought when I saw them was I saw this sole, and I knew, I had an idea what they were. And the reason why I had an idea what they were is, is I had recently sold a pair, not like this, but slip-on shoes with this same type of bottom. And when I saw it, it was exactly what I thought it was. It was Solomon. So I just sold, I had a pair of black Salomons about the same size. The heel was worn on the, the suede, not on the bottom. The soles are great, just like these soles. I mean, they need to be a little bit clean, but holy cow. I had paid $5.99 for those, and I had them listed. And I took a best offer of 50 bucks plus shipping. So if you see these, I mean, you can look and see. I mean, you know, that's just that way. But if you look, they are in really good condition. I mean, I guess the laces, probably the worst part of them. But if you can see, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see inside, hopefully. Uh, you can't. Well, trust me. In, in there, it says the word Som uh, <clears throat> Solomon. So uh, these are, you know, so good. I paid, as you see by the price, I paid $6.99 for them. So hopefully, I mean, I, I figure I got to get 50 bucks for them at least, if not more. Uh, but again, I'll look for a comp and I'll post that comp right over here. We'll see. If there's more than one, 
Maybe I'll post them. Um, I don't know over here too. So that's what I found. So the next one is uh, a product that I haven't sourced before. Now I haven't sourced it for two reasons. Uh, one is that um, I really only take a glance in this section. Uh, and, number, and and number two is I've just the few times I've saw it, I never I, I a little leery. But I was in there. There was a good amount of it. So I figured, what the heck? Give me, give it a shot. So it's two different things. The first one is right here, as you can see, and it is crochet thread. I'm assuming it's called thread. Paid 99 cents. Uh, and I got four of them. And it's vintage. So vintage uh, crochet thread. I did see these. I was able to kind of get by a window and get a little bit of service. So uh, you'll see uh, a comp uh, up here. Um, if I could find Well, even if I can't find the same exact one. So, But these are not that bad. But I figure there's four of them. I can lot these four colors together. They're light. Uh, you know, I can put them in a poly bag and ship them out. Or I can even, you know, get them in a smaller box. They should still be, you know, it might be first class. In a box, they may go over. But we'll see what happens. You know, um, but and I found these, so I thought I'd give that a shot. And <clears throat> one of the reasons why I looked at it, and I walked by this. I walked at it. I looked at it. Three different times before I actually picked it up and put it in my uh, my shopping cart. And a lot of it had to do because I just, you know, I wasn't sure. I was like, man, you know, I've never done this before. I can't believe it and stuff. I don't know if it's a good idea. But then I remember Josh Flip Fine Fun talking about uh, yarn and, and crochet stuff and this vintage stuff. You know, and he's you know he picks it up and he's himself he sells it. So, thought about it. When I, I remember him talking about it when I saw it, so I decided to get it. And which leads me to vintage yarn. Uh, this yarn, I mean, this is you know, uh, it says Kmart on it right there, as you can see. So um, this is vintage yarn, and I have like three white. I think I have six of this yellow. I have two of red. I have two of orange. And then I thought I had two gold, but it looks appears I only have one gold. 99 cents each. So it was a total of, I believe, 14 or so, if my math is correct, but it's probably wrong. I think it was 14. So I figured, let me go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, you know, fourteen dollars plus the other four dollars, so eighteen bucks in. We'll see. I did see a uh, sold for uh, for this. Uh, I believe it was a lot of five. I think it was twenty something dollars. But like I said, I'll throw up some solds uh, for the yarn and the uh, the crochet stuff. So we'll see. I mean, it's light. Not going to be very expensive to uh, to to uh, to ship. Um, again, you know, I figured my buy cost at a dollar a piece. You know, I mean, so I mean, the whole haul, uh, you know, for Goodwill was right here. You know, and the whole haul, you know, was thirty four dollars. Where is it? Right there. There it is. Right there. Thirty four dollars and seventy seven cents. So I should make that back on the boots, and I think the boots are selling now. I, mean, I know a lot of people might go, and, "Hey, man, dude, you know, not for nothing. It's 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 March, the end of March. You're going to sell boots. What what are you going to sell boots for? Well, because people buy stuff all year long. Nothing says that these boots are going to sell just in the United States. I ship internationally. Uh, I ship on my own. I don't use I don't use the GSP. For eBay, I will ship direct to my customer. So if there's somebody in, you know, I don't know, Great Britain who looking for a pair of these and I got them, I'll ship it to them. I don't care. I'm not afraid to ship, you know, internationally. And I hope you're not either. 
hope you're not afraid to ship internationally. So, hey, that's what all I got for you today. Thanks a lot for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, comment below. What do you think? Am I, am I you know, is it a, is, is vintage yarn still a thing? Did I just waste $18? Uh, or could I maybe at least get my money back out of it? Uh, the jeans, you know, they're going to be interesting. I got, like I said, I got to find those. The boots, I know the boots are going to sell. It may take a little while, but I'm confident that they're going to sell. And the profit from them will make everything else, you know, gravy. So, hey, with that, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Paisans, I appreciate it. And as, you know, as, as we go through, I'm doing more videos. I'm trying to do more videos. Uh, it's a little tough. You know, I'm going to be out of town every now and again, you know, at work and everything. So, But I am going to try and do my best to give you guys more videos. I want to do more for, for everybody. And, again, don't forget, if you got a live show, if you need a guest, if you're looking to start a live show, just do some, you know, chatting about you know reselling everything hook me up get in contact with me i'd love to go ahead and do it with you and uh i appreciate each and one of you and guess what ciao until the next video